So I've been going to Art Academy Cincinnati for about two weeks now, and when I was thinking about coming here, I looked all over Google for just a, like a, a virtual tour of the school and the surrounding areas. I couldn't really find anything, so I decided to take it upon myself to make this video about the tours of the Art Academy Cincinnati, a little part of the dorms, and a little bit of the surrounding areas, and the things you could do around here, which are pretty dope. Um, because I've been here for two weeks, and I'm basically, I'm basically like, you know, a local now. That's how it works, right? No, I'm kidding, I'm not a local at all. I do have some local friends that have showed me around here, so I'm just gonna use that information and carry on with my life. So, let's start this video right now. So one major part of college life is the dorm life. Um, I'm in the 12th Street dorms, um, and my dorm is actually the most basic of the dorms, which is pretty dope. Um, the other dorms here are a bit bigger, because they just gotta accommodate more or whatever. Um, but this is, this is the basics of the basics. It's, the, it's my personal favorite layout of the place. Um, and then there are also 13th Street dorms, which are bigger and they feel more like a house and this feels more like an apartment. But I can give you guys a quick little rundown of the dorm. If you guys wanna see like a more in-depth layout, uh, watch my dorm tour video, whichever side the links pop up. But we got two little sleeping areas. Got my roommate's side, my side. This little sitting area right here. Got a kitchen right here and a bathroom. Um, the layout feels more like an apartment than a house, but I kind of like it. I really like it actually. So, yeah. And one good thing about it is. It's like a quarter mile walk, not even. It's like an eighth of a mile walk from the dorms to the place, which is super fucking dope. It's really dope. How I can just make it to the dorms here in like under two minutes. Like, the guy have the clip laying right now. It's a three minute walk. To, it's a two minute walk. It's pretty dope. So, um, we're here at school now. And here's a mess. Let's start from the top floor, the sixth floor, and work our way down. Because that's just, that's just logical. So, one dope thing about this place, it, it is open 24-7. Like, if you're in your dorm, you just need to get out of your dorm and just go work somebody else, someplace else, it's like 3 a.m. You can always come to this school, find like an empty classroom or whatever, or if you're a junior, senior, you can come to your studio, which is pretty dope. This place is always open 24-7, except for like on breaks and stuff, and then, you know, break schedule happens. I think, I'm not sure. But, we're at the top floor right now, and we're just gonna give a tour. There's actually like new drawings on the wall right now, and I'm very sus about accidentally stuff showing them on camera and getting demonetized if this video goes huge. But yeah, this is the top floor. It has probably one of my favorite views of the city, um, right over there. Um, but yeah, this is this is the top floor. This is the drawing floor. So like charcoal, sketches, stuff like that happens on this floor. And every floor is divided up into their own little sections. And I'll explain each section as it goes. And I'll also include a timestamp down in the description of when I talk about which floor and like what it is, like fifth floor or whatever. Yeah, that's gonna be down in the description timestamps. So the acoustics are also super bad, and the top floor is the warmest floor. Um, but this is like an example classroom of the drawing side. It's a big wide open area, you got the drawing benches, whatever they're called. Um, it's a big wide open industrial looking thing because this building actually used to be a factory um, a while back. Uh, I think it was two factories actually, and we combined them into one. But this right here is probably my favorite view of the city in general. Like, this place is honestly situated in such a beautiful place, and I love it so, so much. Um, but yeah, I'm just wandering around, around basically now, and just showing you guys Art Academy inside, talk about it more in depth, unlike my first video here where I was just following the tour guide around and trying to take as many low-key clips as possible. So right here, there are studios for the junior seniors, maybe sophomores if there's enough. Um, but this is basically like a second home where you share with a couple other students, where you can just work on art and crafts and whatever you're doing in the studios. It's pretty dope. Um, they're all owned by separate people, so I don't really think I can get any shots in there without privacy stuff. But they're pretty dope. I can like walk by one maybe and show you guys. I just don't want to like put my head fully in there and just walk around and look at it. But yeah, they're pretty dope. They're like tiny apartments. They're studios. They're studios. What what else can I say? The studios and customize them, customize them however you want. It's pretty dope. 
Like some of them you can see add their own little personal flares, like lights or whatever inside. It looks pretty normal. Um, but yeah, it's pretty dope. I honestly really like the layout of this entire thing. Like these guys look like they have furniture a little bit with chairs and stuff. These guys, it looks like an office space. Like this place is honestly super dope. How it like encourages art as in any art school should, but it encourages art and like like the studios. I don't I don't know if I've I've never been to another art school, so I don't know if those are like a, like a normal thing or whatever. But yeah, I'm out of breath. Whew. So fifth floor is basically the starting ground of a lot of stuff. This is my core class is, which is basically like a lot of art classes. It's basically the art class of art school, where like, this is really echoey. Like you take your core class, which is basically all of your stuff that you need to take, like, pre, what's it called? Pre, pre, prerequisite wise, like photography, a little bit of photography, a little bit of everything basically, it's super dope. Um, this is one of the classrooms. It's super echoey in here, super bad, and I'm super backlit. But yeah, this is, this entire floor right here is basically just regular classrooms, it feels like. Um, so this is the elite artsy looking one. You do have some uh, small computer, com computer labs, computer labs, which are pretty dope. You got a printer, just start stand stock, whatever. Got some offices, which are all pretty cool, how a lot of the offices on the weekdays are just open hours, because there is like, what? There's like an hour. Uh, per day where everything is open. It's pretty cool and I also really like it because it makes makes you feel more connected to the teachers because this is all one building, everybody's here, and it's honestly pretty cool. And that's honestly one thing I like this school over any other school is how small it is. There are 200-ish students here, I believe, and the faculty is, is a, it's a good size, um, but it doesn't feel like you're in a factory. That's one reason I left Bowling Green when I wasn't going there. Um, it just felt like I was just another number here. You actually feel like you matter, which is pretty fucking dope. I really like it. Um, but yeah, this is enough of the fifth floor because it's probably the most boring floor here because I know all the other floors have actual like art and stuff, but this is more academic side. The fourth floor north is painting, so there's just a lot of paint stuff. Can I poke in my head in here? Like you see, there's just easels and like a paint, like not this like place where models sit or whatever, which is pretty dope. How every room you can feel what it is made for. Like you walk in here, like oh, this is for painting. You walk upstairs, you got drawing boards. That's for drawing, whatever, whatever. Um, I actually have not walked around this floor a lot, but yeah, dope view again. Um, and it's honestly like super cool how they lay everything out. Every floor has their own thing. So after you're done with your freshman year or first year, I guess, you can figure out what you want to do and you'll basically stay on the floor. Like, I want to do photography, I'll stay on the third floor, which is photography, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah. My arm is getting sore from holding you guys. So apparently there are people here still, which is pretty awkward for me because I was just shouting, basically. Um, so I'm just trying to keep this one a bit low-key because they're right back there in that studio. But this fourth floor right here is the print media. It's like screen printing, like press printing, you know, the old fashioned, like like that thing, you know? I uh, like, yeah, the stencils, but then erase stencils. They like press the ink on the paper, newspaper printing or whatever. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff here is closed because it's the weekend dev, as I said. And like, I'm pretty sure this door would be locked. Yep, a lot of doors are locked. Um, but this place does have printing, like screen printing and like press printing. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna call it press printing. And just a bunch of dope stuff here. So right here, this is the screen printing area. I don't, I hope nobody's up here. How do that work? Hello? Okay, cool. This is screen printing area, like screen printing t-shirts and stuff like that, which I personally might use in the future with um, just like my clothing brand I'm trying to start. Um, but yeah, we got a, just a bunch of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Um, they, they have so much, stuff open and available for you after you take like obviously like a class on how to use the stuff you can just walk in here anytime and just use it which I think is pretty dope um so this is like 3 a.m. as I said and you get inspo at 3 a.m. because that's when the best ideas come to you just run over here run like two minutes over here do your idea and just get it out so you don't forget in the morning but yeah as you can see they have a bunch of art just on the walls like other students did which is pretty dope um this looks like the photography thing because they've got photos got a um a photo poster um, let's put my head in here. Uh, yeah, obviously photography because it's a photography classroom. Uh, I hear people. I hear people. So right in there, that's like a photographer.
photography suite, which is pretty dope. Um, I wouldn't have in there, but there's people in there right now. I actually have a dark room right here, which I can't go in because I'm not trained yet in that place. That's a, they, in, during core, as I said, which is the fifth floor, you can take classes on all that stuff in there and you get certified to go in those rooms. Uh, but I want to do this video now so I can get out as soon as possible. Another dope view. And yeah, I'm gonna get off this floor because there's people like right there. It's kind of so sweet to keep talking like this. That's really scary. So one thing I did forget to mention while I was up in the uh, on this floor, um, I think it's because I couldn't get to it because there are people in their room. Um, there is a video editing suite and a like a visual music editing suite up there, which are both super dope. I saw it in the um, the tour, but I couldn't get in there because there's people in there. I felt awkward just walking in there. Um, they're also locked down. You have to go to security for it. You have to go pass and blah blah. blah. There's just a bunch of stuff to get into. But yeah, so I couldn't get there, but they, they, they exist. It's pretty dope. So that was the photography thing. I'm really sad that there are people over there because that's probably my favorite floor because I am into photography myself. Um, I didn't want to awkwardly just talk to my camera walking in there. All right, we're on the, what floor are we on right now? Third floor still. Um, we got more studios right around here. Um, we got some classrooms also on this side. Um, which is dope out here is they have classrooms and they also have like, Computer lab, so if you don't have your own computer, like you can't see in there, I don't want to turn on light. Yeah, classrooms, computer labs, all pretty dope. And then right in here, this is a print lab, so you can get like matte stuff, luster, glossy, canvas, which is all pretty dope, in my opinion. Like you can like you can print so much stuff here for cheap if you're a student here, um, which I personally really really love the fact that you have cheap printing here because I did a project here once and I didn't have this stuff set up yet and I had to spend like money, actual money to like to like print, which sucked photos. Um, Cause I can't just use the printer, like a stock printer like this. I had to like use like good paper and stuff. So I was paying the butt, but they do have uh, very cheap printing for students here for like canvas, matte, luster, and the glossy photo paper, which is pretty dope. I'm just rambling now, you know, it's life. All right, my, personally one of my favorite aesthetic things is the spray booth. So as artists, you do use aerosols and those can smell really bad. So they have spray rooms like this one, where you can just like, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's no All right, so they have spray rooms like this, which is pretty dope. It's like, you can see people have gone to town on the walls and on the floor and not on the ceiling, I'm surprised. But yeah, you see people have gone to town here with their graffiti. We have this little spray area right here. Um, there's a fan somewhere in here that sucks all the bad stuff out, which is pretty dope in my opinion. I've never seen something like this. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm not really a spray artist or I haven't had really any experience with any art schools aside from this one. But yeah, if you need anything to do with smelly stuff, come in here. Got some dope art on the walls. It's all around just a pretty dope place in here. And I'm gonna take some photos in here someday. Alrighty, so now we're on the second floor, which I feel like I should be a bit quieter now because this is the most professional one. Um, they have, I'm heading over this way because there's actually something on this side, unlike the other ones were just classrooms or whatever. Um, but second floor is a lot of professional stuff. You have like a lot of the offices here are like actual offices. Um, back there, back there's like something I'll show you guys later. Right around here is a library slash commons area, which I personally figured out about like a couple days ago. But yeah, got this little sitting area right here. You can like have meetings or whatever. Um, a little library in there you can see. I don't know how you guys can see it. It's open. Oh, it's not open. Yeah, a little area right there you can just look and just do library things. Um, but yeah. So this is a quiet study room back there, a commons area, whatever, I don't even know. So I believe on every floor there are conference rooms like this, um, where you can just have conferences, like if you have a class meeting, or like not a class meeting, but like a meeting with like a professional or whatever, you can have those in there. Um, down these little stairs, we have administration offices right here, which are like all like the important business stuff, which is pretty dope. I don't even know if you can see them. There they are. We got important mis mis business meeting stuff right up there. Now we're heading down to the first floor here. Let's see if it's open. Nope. But that is an art gallery. Um, every week they have their own little art show for students in there. Um, like students made the art in there, which is pretty dope. My favorite thing. 
I like to visit like once a week so I can figure out what's going on and see what's in there. Right here is the true commons area. This is where you can just come, you can hang out with friends, you can wait between classes, you can do so much stuff in here, you can work on projects, it's open 24-7. Super dope. They have a cafe thing here right here, they were open on the weekdays for lunch and for breakfast, pretty dope, my favorite place, super convenient. They have this nice view right here of the street level, which is pretty awkward but pretty nice at the same time. Um, I'm out of breath, I'm talking to you so fast. They have like this sitting, they have two sitting areas, they have a sitting area right here, which is super comfy, got a bunch of couches, and then if we squeeze them away this way, I'm super excited, this is probably my favorite spot. Squeeze your way this way, I'm out of breath. They have another sitting area right here, second favorite spot, got a white erase board right there, a bunch, of, a fuck ton of tables, they got all these tables. A foosball table right here, um, I don't really see this getting used because it is in a kind of awkward space, just with everybody else. Continue this way. We have some uh, booths right here, and we have a piano, which I see a lot of people uh, play, but I personally can't play piano. Um, got a pool room right here, which honestly this season gets a lot of use, and I'm super excited. And I really want to play pool someday, but I suck at pool. So sort of like the room back up there I was talking about, this is a mural right here. We're just going to paint over it. This, I've, this is going to do so, so many different renditions. Um, this is another little sitting area, not sitting area, but another little art area where people display their own art, which is pretty dope, my favorite place. This is the thing, if you never need a thinking spot, I love coming to this and just sitting on this bench and just thinking and looking at this stuff. This is honestly super, super cool. I don't know how you guys call that, but that was security there. They have 24 seven security here. So if like security thing is a thing that your parents are worried about when you want to go here and you're talking to them about that, because it is in kind of a sketchy place. Um, don't worry, they have 24 hour security. You literally have to have, you have to have a key card to get in and out of the building. Um, which is pretty dope, and like there's security, always security there. I've never came in here when there's not security here, and they're super friendly. Like they look scary, but they're also like the most friendly people I've ever met. They're super nice. They have like they, they're super nice. I love them so much. Security, you my G. I love you guys. But now we're in the basement, um, where the wood shop and like other like physical art stuff is here. Um, right in here is the wood shop. Doors locked because there's like tools in there. Let's see if we can go in here. All right, I'm doing this one Blair Witch style, so you're not gonna see my face. I just had them, literally had the microphone turned around facing me. This is the sculpture studio, which is pretty dope, it looks like. I literally have my phone as a flashlight because there's no lights. Um, pretty dope place. You can see like, there's just a lot of open area for you to work on sculptures, which is pretty dope. I really like it. This is really bad, I don't like this. Continuing on, I'm just gonna do this bottom part in this style. We have the metal shop right here, obviously locked again because it's the weekend. But there you can do metal work in there. Same thing with woodwork back in the carpenter shop. Sculpture, wood, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Continuing on, this is all physical art stuff as I said before. Um, what's around here? There's more sculpture studios. This is like where like the major sculpture stuff goes down. It's super dirty in here by the way. But that's life for sculpturing. This is actually a super cool place. Um, like you, there's, I can see there's sculptures up here. That stuff right there. Um, continuing, like, like you just, you can feel work has been done in this room, and it honestly feels super cool. They have gender neutral bathrooms, which I feel like should be a thing in 2018. Um, so they're down here in the basement. They do have like gender separated bathrooms upstairs and stuff. But I think these are the only gender neutral ones. Um, continuing on, I think this is another, this is another gallery right here. Um, it's not open right now, obviously, because I don't think there's any art in here. Um, but continuing on over this way, there's more art storage. Um, this is art school, they have to the art storage. And over here, something I actually don't know much about. So, excuse my rambling. Um, these are a bunch of fucking lockers. Um, if you, I feel like if I ever want to shoot a horror movie, I'm gonna come down here and shoot a bit here. Because there's just so much, just like, there's so many lockers here. Um, yeah, it's a bunch of lockers you can store stuff. You don't feel like taking it from your dorm to here every day, or if you're like commuting or whatever, you can just come here to leave stuff here, and yeah. So I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure this video is already super, super long. Um, like too long for me to actually add an OTR tour. So that's gonna be a different video. Um, when it's up, I'll just have, an, I'll go back to this video and edit an annotation, but it should be next week's video. So if you guys wanna see the OTR tour, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be super fun. I do weekly videos here. They're not always tour stuff like this because I'm just a local, and I'm, I'm not even local. Um, so this is just everything I've experienced here for two weeks. Um, but yeah, 
Make sure you like this video if you really liked it. Um, let me know if you guys are planning on going to Art Academy in the future. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna close this off in my dorm because this is awkward. My shoes are squeaky, my back lit. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, as I said, if you are thinking about going to Art Academy Cincinnati, I'm talking so fast. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are thinking of going to Art Academy of Cincinnati and you have more questions, uh, don't be afraid to slide on my DMs at my social media, which is always at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I am super excited to be going here. I'm super excited for my future here. Um, you guys have already seen a bunch of art school videos, and there's just going to be so much more. It's honestly just going to be a super fun experience. And I'm here for this ex expansion of this here channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm whispering now because I appreciate people are going to come down the stairs. Thanks for watching this video. Do good, stay positive, keep vibing it. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be an OTR tour, cause dope. What am I saying? And also when I say OTR tour, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like a major part of Cincinnati tour. Like the parts where I can just take the streetcar or just bike around. So don't be expecting like, and just straight OTR, cause that'll be boring.